are on our way to get food, as usual. What are you doing, nerd? He's playing Battlefield. Yeah. So, what did you think of the breakfast place we went to? Uh, OEB was better. Yeah. It was good, but only because of what I ordered. I honestly didn't love it. I This is the first time I've ever had pancakes that were drenched in whipped cream. And it was not my favorite. It wasn't my jam. And I tried to kind of like fix it. I ordered butter on the side to try to make it more savory. But that didn't work. So I was very disappointed. I feel like this place is like super overrated because it has really, really great reviews. And that is the reason why I picked it in the first place. Sorry, you guys. He is gaming behind me. And it's kind of loud, so I'm gonna go over here. I went there because of all the really good reviews that it had, but I was definitely really disappointed. And yeah, that is all that we really did today. I just filmed a few videos, that's why I actually have makeup on for once. My hair is actually not curled. These are heatless waves, actually. So I braided my hair yesterday and kept the braids in all night, and then I kind of like scrunched it up with hairspray. And that's the look that I got, which is cool. I honestly haven't been vlogging a whole lot lately because I haven't really been doing anything. I still kind of sound like I'm sick, but I'm not. I'm just getting better. I do have some vlog clips from a couple weeks ago I do want to include in this video. Andy and I actually went to Flirty Bird for the first time, and I'll show you that clip next. It was absolutely amazing, and I wish that I'd gone there today versus Monkey Bistro. Like, I think Flirty Bird would have been so much better, but they have a Nashville hot chicken. I actually picked the hot... I think because they have hot and then they have extra hot they also have like medium mild and all of that stuff but I like spicy stuff so I definitely thoroughly enjoyed the hot one and I would definitely go back their hours are kind of weird though I feel like they used to be open late and now they're open a whole lot earlier I think they're only open to like seven now so otherwise I would go there more often it's just it doesn't really work with my schedule unfortunately but yeah, I'll include those clips now and you guys can see my Nashville hot chicken that was amazing. And I will see you guys in the next clip. So I'm about to get my nails done right now. Look at how bad they look. So this one actually broke in a car door. This one I actually like fell off a waterfall kind of thing. Like I fell on ice by a waterfall and that's what happened. That's how that one broke. So they look really bad. This one's all cracked. 
and then I'll show you guys the other side. I got these nails done back in January before Valentine's Day, so this one, I forget how, oh, this one, I was trying to take my watch out of my sleeve and broke it, so yeah, they look pretty bad. They look pretty ghetto right now, but we're gonna fix that. This is the new nails for the month. They're so pretty. These took a really long time to try to decide what color to get, but I'm really happy with them. Here is the other side. So it's filming day. I'm about to finish this vlog and I'm about to film some more videos as well. So I am going to take my braids out. I actually went hiking yesterday and what I've been doing lately is I've been braiding my hair into just like two braids. This one, this one came out. So I don't know how bad or how good this is going to turn out. But basically, I've been braiding my hair for most of my hikes lately. It is tick season, you guys. It's going to be tick season really quick. And I am not trying to get any ticks in my hair, or any in my clothes, anywhere. So I've been braiding my hair lately. I know that eucalyptus is actually also really good for that. So next time, I'm going to add some eucalyptus oil to my hair. But basically... What I do for the next day is I take the braids out and I have some like heatless curls just for like a day because I do have to wash my hair later today before work. So I'm going to just undo these. Okay, 
so this side was really loose and it didn't curl which is unfortunate because I do have to film today and it looks weird when one side of my head is straight and the other side is curly. So I'm gonna fix that. I'm going to just curl probably this part and then I'm gonna leave this because this part is technically curly. I'm just gonna crunch it up a little bit, but I'm gonna have to curl this part. I don't want to. I'm using this Frizzy's hairspray, so. I feel like it's supposed to take the frizz away, but it's not doing that. Anyways, I'm gonna just curl this last part. This part would have been way easier if I had a crimper. I have a crimper in my Amazon cart, but I haven't actually like purchased it yet. So yeah, we're gonna try our best. Hey guys, so that is how my hair looks. I think one side now looks curlier than the other one, but oh well, like they're almost heatless curls. You know, this one tiny section right here is like heat and the rest of it was just braided. So, I mean, that's pretty good for almost heatless curls. But yeah, I'm gonna go put some earrings on, put lip color on, change, and then we're gonna film the rest of this vlog. I will see you guys in the next clip. I feel like my vlog is lately, I've been doing either like, just like sit down videos, like a lot of sit down videos in the vlog. And I'm not sure why, I don't know. So this is the last clip of this vlog. I'm gonna be doing a little bit of a taste test slash haul on what I got from Trust Convenience. We went there quite a few weeks ago, I think the beginning of March or the end of February. I don't know when it was, but we went to Trust Convenience, which is a specialty store in Calgary. So they have a lot of stuff that is not available in Canada. They don't have my Chester's hot fries that I've been wanting, but I went there to look for Chester's hot fries, but I ended up with a bunch of other stuff. So this is the only thing that I'm not gonna try out because I don't have a bowl and I don't have milk and I don't have a spoon. This is the Wendy's frosty chocolate cereal. So what's really cool about this is it has marshmallow pieces in it and yeah, this was really expensive actually. This was like $12, $12 for a box of cereal. I'm pretty sure you can get this in the States for like $3. But yeah, this is not available here in Canada. They had it there, decided to try it, so got that. I'm actually hungry right now, I haven't eaten anything and I do have to film a couple of videos, so the best time to film this honestly this next thing i got was this minute made flavored fruit drink so this is what it looks like right here it is a blue minute made juice it looks like the fruitopia that was in this color back in the 90s that i loved so much that they don't make anymore so i'm hoping it tastes like that no this is blue raspberry this is probably going to taste like the Minute Maid slushy from McDonald's that they had last summer. Ooh, that was really good. Definitely like artificial juice tasting. It tastes like all of those Minute Maid juice boxes you probably drank when you were a kid. But good, I really like that. Next thing that I picked up that I'm very excited to try actually are these Cheetos popcorn. They're the cheddar flavor. I think they had a bunch of different kinds. I think they had like flame and hot cheddar. We don't have these in Canada. Oh my goodness. Those smell so good. Ah, okay. I love popcorn. They taste like, they really do taste like Cheetos. Like popcorn with the Cheeto seasoning. You know that orange powder that they put on top of Cheetos? exactly like that. No, I'm hungry. I can eat this whole entire bag. This expires next month, so I'm gonna have to eat this like today. Love it. I'm gonna kind of like wash everything down with this like Minute Maid juice just because. I, by the way, I hope this vlog was like 
somewhat exciting for you. Didn't really do a whole lot in March. I was sick for like two weeks and I didn't do anything in those two weeks. I went to work after like a week. Of being sick I definitely tried a lot of new foods this month I went to a few different restaurants I think my favorite was simply Irie no flirty bird I don't know it's a toss-up between simply Irie and flirty bird they were both amazing next up these Chinese lays you can get these anywhere now I think they're limited edition they are they probably are limited edition I saw these at Safeway Walmart Sobeys you can kind of get these anywhere they also have a masala one and they have another one that I'm gonna show you guys next but this one is called cucumber so you don't have to buy these at like trust convenience or places that have specialty foods you might as well save some money and get it at Sobeys or Walmart these are cucumber flavored I'm all for trying new flavors of potato chips. Potato chips are like really good. But let me try a small piece. These really, these really do taste like cucumber. I don't like those. They, they just really have a very overpowering cucumber taste and flavor and cucumber and potatoes do not go good together. Cucumbers is more something that you put in water or like in a salad. Two more things left. We have candy for the end because I'm doing more savory items and then candy at the end. Okay, so Andy actually tried these. He opened them already, but I haven't tried them. So they are the chicken and potato Lay's. From China I love chicken flavored chips but I don't know if these are gonna taste like ketchup they taste like tomato paste on like a plain chicken flavored chip with like a hint of onion Those are better than the cucumber ones, but I still don't like them. Masala, I didn't buy because I already know what masala tastes like. Like, I live in Calgary, okay? There's like a ton of East Indian restaurants around, so I don't need to get it in a chip, I feel like. So that's the only one that I didn't get. I didn't get the masala one. Very last thing in here are these Skittles right here. These are Chinese Skittles and all of the writing is in Chinese. However, I googled what these are supposed to be and they are tea flavored. So they're like peach tea, grape tea, Skittles. Oh, they're resealable. I love that. I never finish a whole bag of candy in one sitting. Oh my goodness. I hate having nails. I really, really hate having nails. I like the way they look and I like that they don't break, but everything is legit so hard to open. Like, I don't know how girls with longer nails than these like function in life. If your nails are like Cardi B's nails, like how do you open, how do you open anything? Do you like cut everything open? Do you like never drink pop or anything besides water because you can't open anything? I'm not happy that I had to cut these open because they are resealable. They're not resealable anymore. A lot of yellow and orange. These are like light colored Skittles. Like honestly, I hate the yellow and orange Skittles here in Canada. They're my least favorite. I don't like lemon flavored things. There's also a pink one and that is the one that I'm gonna try. Mmm. I don't know what this is supposed to taste like. <laughs> but oh, lychee. Lychee. It tastes like those lychee pearls that you get in bubble tea. It's really good. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try the light peachy one. It tastes like peaches. <laughs> Favorite thing about this taste test. These and these. I didn't try the Wendy's cereal, but I'm sure that that's gonna be good as well. But those chips, no offense to any of you that like cucumber or chicken and tomato chips from Lay's. I'm just not, I'm not a fan, I don't like them. So 
yeah, that is pretty much it for this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys soon. Bye. I'll let you